first work day of 2020. I used to make coffee and an espresso maker, and then I discovered French press. And I have to say, I really like it. sister does my hair so that helps but the other thing that helps is not washing your hair every single day and investing in a good shower cap for over 10 years now, which is just crazy to even think about. And it's been pretty sporadic, not gonna lie. Always Alley will probably be the same way. But one thing that I am consistent with is that I never stop. And to be real honest, in the last two years I went through a lot of change. A lot of change. And so it hasn't really felt like sharing with the world everything but now that we're in a much better brighter happier space um, it feels like talking about some of the things that I went through over the last two years like grief anxiety breakups ugh, so much stuff that everybody goes through and you know with social media it's like let's just share all of the highlights and one of my friends this weekend told me how courageous it was to leave the situation that I was in, not when I was at my best, but actually when I was kind of at my worst. That really, really hit me and really made it even more clear that always Allie needed to be always Allie. I'm always my quirky, socially awkward, sometimes funny, sometimes dumb self and I never change no matter what environment that I'm in. So Always Ally is also going to be just dishing on everything from lifestyle to business to digital marketing and anything in between. Let's head to the office and get this 2020 year started. What are you doing? Come on. first day back. So I'm just gonna go with the flow. I don't even have a script for the premise or the storyline for today. It was basically just to get up and do it. Because if you think about something way too long, you end up not doing it. And then you live with a bunch of regret for thinking about it and procrastinating and not taking action on it. 
That's why I got up this morning and was like, let's do this. I made sure that the camera was in my room already and charging overnight, so there was no excuses for this. Sometimes you just have to get back on the horse and not even think about it, even after you've fallen off a few times. So here we are, back to work. Let's get this day started. I need to just add some text there, but we need to talk about what you want to charge and the different packages. coming out behind it, which is which is always good to have on your plate. Um, I think we're gonna close up shop here. Clearly we need to get some new batteries for the log camera because it died at the office. So we had to come home and charge it. And what a day it's been. Just left downtown again and some meetings about what's going to be a brand new restaurant that is coming to town. And it's really, really exciting. I'm doing a little behind the scenes documentary with it. Yeah, it's gonna be cool. And then now I have a friend stopping by that um, is also an entrepreneur and I haven't seen her since my housewarming party and she's in town so she's coming and saying hello. And I'm gonna put some sweats on and we're gonna kick into editing mode. That's the plan for today, Stan, so let's get to it. <laughs> First day back of the new year, and I'm in sweatpants, ready to finish up work that I thought I would have started by now, today. But I've had a lot of good meetings, and sometimes you have to have meetings all day when it's your first day back. Got some great shots for a mini documentary that I am putting together. Um, mapped out some of the steps that are coming up for one of my clients. They were getting ready to launch her new site and just really getting back into the swing of things. That was really the, the main part of today's vlog is just doing it, just get back into it and just doing it without even thinking about it, without me telling myself that there wasn't a great storyline behind it um, to, to do this vlog, right? So I promise future Always Alley vlogs will have a meaning behind them or a storyline or something, but I guess today's storyline is just the chaoticness of getting back to work after being off for two weeks and the chaoticness of getting back to vlogging. We're not gonna talk about how long it's been since I've last vlogged. It's okay, it's not about what's in the past, it's what's happening right here now in the present and in the future. And I feel pretty good about my 2020 vision. Clearly I don't have 2020 vision, but I got 2020 vision on my business. Oh yeah, and we're, we're gonna do it this year. So, all right, I gotta, I gotta get some of that work done on the laptop that I'm supposed to start a couple hours ago. Let's get back to work now. So look, when you have so much to do, and you're not sure where to start at. So, make a list 
and you prioritize. But I'm gonna give it a try. Breathe in, exhale, and then get to work.